Hey guys, Shay Abby here, and today I want to introduce our latest firmware called the RF Analyzer, designed exclusively for all hardware versions of the LaForge main module. Built entirely from the ground up, the goal of this firmware is to focus on frequency to give you the best tune for whatever transmitter or environment you find yourself in. This firmware currently supports three modes. Locked on mode, the view you see here. This is where you'll go once you found your frequency and are ready to fly. Band scanner mode. This is where you'll see all 40 channels and their RSSI signal strength. In this mode, you can also choose which channel you want to be on. And finally, the RF analyzer. This is where you'll really be able to explore the RF spectrum with an interactive graph, which we'll discuss a little bit more later. Since this is a fresh flash, we'll need to calibrate the RSSI to balance the two RX modules uh, so they have a level RSSI reading. To do that, we enter setup, move up to calibrate RSSI, and enter that. Now that we've calibrated, let's take a closer look at the RF analyzer and some of its settings. First we have the antenna. If you have diversity on, you'll be able to select between antenna A, B, or best. Next we have samples, which are the number of steps we want to take around our center point. As you can see on the x-axis, we are incrementing how big of a frame we want to check around our center point. You can choose between 10 samples, 20, 50, and 100, which is a very wide view of the spectrum. Personally, I like to go at 20 samples. Next is step size, which is the number of megahertz between each sample. For 20, mega, or for 20 samples, I'm going to do 2 megahertz steps between each sample. Now you can really start to see the curve around our 5800. And finally, we have our unit of measure. Uh, which is in decibels or the raw value. You can see on the y-axis the values change. In the RF analyzer, on the x-axis we have our center point, which is 5800, and then we have our start of the frame, which is 5780, and then on the uh, right side we have 5820. On the top left here, uh, you'll see our peak, which is indicated by this little triangle. So our center point is at 5800, but our peak is saying we're at 5804. We can change our center point to match that peak. Let's increase our sample size to 50, and instead we'll go at 5 megahertz between each sample. This will give us nearly the entire spectrum, from 5675 all the way up to 5925. Uh, now that we have fine-tuned our frequency, we are ready to fly. Here's a quick way to get back to the locked-on mode. A one second press in any mode will toggle you between locked on mode and the last used mode. So one second and we're in locked in mode. And if we want to go back, another one second 
hold will take us right back. So we're ready to fly and now we're in locked on mode. In locked on mode you're also capable of uh, fine-tuning the frequency. This time being able to look through the goggles while you fine-tune. As you can see we can move one megahertz around our desired frequency. You can also jump 10 megahertz at a time and you can see how we can quickly move through the uh, frequencies. If you have the V2 hardware, you can also use the Fat Shark buttons to move up and down while the goggles are on your head. Another thing that has changed in this firmware is the way in which the best antenna is selected. Like the main firmware, the switching algorithm is based off wins and losses. In the RF Analyzer firmware, we've added another element to the equation to enable an even faster switching. We've also visualized this win and loss in the triangles to the left of the antenna name. The triangle builds up until it wins out over the other antenna. This new firmware is meant to be for advanced users wanting the best tune or anyone wanting to learn about radio frequencies and their transmissions. There are a few features missing in this firmware such as favorites, call signs, and VTX settings uh, which may show up in a later version. This wraps up the overview of the RF Analyzer firmware. I hope you enjoy and uh, start to learn a lot more about RF frequencies.